Hey babes, what's poppin'? So, we're about to set up the Christmas tree. I know it's super early, girl. Fuck Thanksgiving, fuck Thanksgiving. We're getting straight to Christmas, girl. I already got the Christmas decor out. We're about to set up this tree. I got some new ornaments. Look at my little look, so cute. And then, got the Christmas tree. Put some trees right here. I think that's cute, but I'll probably get something else because that is kind of tacky, but you, you see where it's going. And that's some ornaments that I got. Shiloh's still teething a little bit. He's about to be one, so he's getting really good. So hopefully soon I can get a couch. Cause girl, I don't have a couch right now because he keeps teething. And if he chews on my couch, I'll be really upset. Okay, so let's see what's in this box. I believe these are ornaments. I'm just feeling really festive this year. Yeah, they're ornaments. I think I just want to decorate for each holiday. I decorated for Halloween, but I didn't really show I didn't show y'all. But yeah, so I got my ornament and I got, hold on. Sorry, my mind's everywhere. Let's see. I need to get my ashtray and quit putting it on the counter. All right, girl, let's throw this stuff on the tree. I'm honestly contemplating because I want probably to give this tree away because I kind of want a 12 foot tall green tree in my living room because the ceilings are so high. I feel like the tree has to be at least 12 feet tall so i feel like a 12 feet tall christmas tree is like probably only a couple hundred bucks let's see let's go on amazon let's put because i want a green one not a white one like a white one's gonna be cute but i feel like a green one would just hit so hard in my living room 12 foot christmas tree oh they're not that bad six hundred dollars this one's three hundred dollars and it'll be here by november 8th and this one's three hundred this one's 169. Ooh, is it 12 foot, seven foot? Yo, I think that's, yeah, I definitely have enough room for 12 feet. Well, let's just set this tree up real quick and see how it looks. I bought a whole bunch of different stuff, so girl, let's get to it. <sighs> He's bigger than, He's bigger than his dad. Hey Pookie, how are y'all doing today? So I'm setting up my Christmas tree early. I know I completely said Halloween is over. Time to hop into Christmas decorations. I don't have Thanksgiving decorations. I need to invest in some turkey decor. I just haven't done that yet. But for me, my Christmas tree makes me happy it brings me so much joy when i do things like this because i'm honestly just doing it for myself i feel like it's really important to make yourself happy and do things for yourself that make you happy i don't have a strong relationship with my family like i would like to have and that's okay i honestly i envy people who have a strong family i want to get married to someone who is very invested in their family because that's just something that I don't have. So that's why lately I've been taking the holidays seriously because usually I'm sometimes depressed around the holiday season because everyone is with their family and I'm not. And I don't like to intrude on people's family time. So I decided to stay to myself or I'll hand out food or hand out, you know, stuff to the homeless so I can be occupied and also make myself feel good in that time while I am not with my family and everyone else is. But that's also why I set up my tree and do my decor in my house around the holidays because it makes me happy. It brings me joy when I walk out into my living room and I see the beautiful ornaments, the greens, the reds, the silvers, the gold, the snowflakes. And it just brings me so much happiness. 
to know, you know, like, okay, I did this and I did this for myself and it's so pretty. So I feel like if you don't have your family this holiday season, don't worry, boo. I'm right there with you and we're in this together. Go ahead and go, girl. Go to Dollar Tree, Target or wherever you need to go and go invest in you a tree this season and go ahead and set it up. Go to the Dollar Tree, girl. I go to the Dollar Tree for my decor. Um, for the ornaments and all of the like the penguin and the cars all the ornaments the big ornaments that you'll see on my tree I went to the Dollar Tree to get those I don't believe in spending a whole bunch of money on ornaments I feel like and then also at the Dollar Tree they have blank ornaments so you can make your own ornaments so I got all of my ornaments mainly from the Dollar Tree they have like a pack of small of them they have like 12 of them in one pack and you don't need super big ornaments I feel like as the year go you like you should invest in your tree so I invest in my tree every year I buy, I buy different decor for my tree so that way by the time Christmas rolls around I have all the decor and you could just buy stuff here and there but yeah go to Dollar Tree set you up your own Christmas tree and make yourself feel good get into the holiday spirit I know everybody has different beliefs as far as religion goes but I feel like Christmas isn't always about religion and what you believe in it can just be a moment where you come together with your family and with your loved ones and show people that you care about them with you know the presents and everything and the cookies and the gender gingerbread houses I'm definitely going to get together with my friends and see if they want to make some gingerbread houses with me and do a pumpkin carving I still want to do a pumpkin carving soon before Thanksgiving but I think it's like too late to do a pump pumpkin carving I don't know if pumpkin carvings are just for Halloween I really wanted to do one like so bad but we didn't get to do that this year that's fine because one day I'm going to have my own family girl and my kids were come we're carving pumpkins a baby when you when I tell you jack o lantern is going to be slaying baby jack o lantern going to be slaying for real <laughs> but go ahead I'm going to let y'all watch me finish decorating this tree it came out cute I only did it extra because last year, one of my friends told me that my Christmas tree looked poor and I wasn't with that. So this year I was like, you know what? My Christmas tree is not going to look poor this year. I'm going to get ornaments, big ornaments, stockings. I got cars. I got presents. I got penguins. I got glittery, like frosted flakes, snowflakes, frosted flakes. Girl, I'm hungry or what? frosted flakes <laughs> I got some snowflakes they're really big so yeah I hope y'all like the way my tree came out if y'all have any cool ideas or if y'all decorated your tree hit me up on Instagram at I am underscore Malaysia and tag me in your Christmas tree girl let's see whose tree is better girl and and gentlemen because I know the LGBT community be they be tuning in and, and I also got some bowls I got some bowls from the Dollar Tree I did red and green but then I was like let me just do all they had a bow that was striped with green and red so instead of doing striped red and green bow and the red bows I decided just to do the big striped and green bows it came out so cute but yes girl Add me on Instagram, tag me in your Christmas trees. Let's get into the holiday spirit together.
is the before I get to cleaning up. Okay. I know I need to quit hanging my clothes on that. It's just a really bad habit. Before. It's not too messy in here, but you know, could be better. And I'll show y'all the after when I'm done. Oh, and by the way, I did not show y'all me setting up my bed. It came out so dope. It projects the screen onto my curtains. And I close these at night. Like this. And it's literally like a movie theater. I love it. I'm so glad I got this. I got it off of Amazon. Like, it just came in handy. Like, nobody has a bed like me. No one ever thought to project their TV onto the curtains in their bed. Like, what? We're watching Monster. All right. So everything is cleaned up now. My bed, honestly, it looks like it's a mess though, but it's not. That's just my camera equipment and my heating pad that I love to lay on. We got everything cleaned up and I put my walker over there so I can get my steps in. And this is for my camera, you know, clean. <laughs> it's a clean lens. But yeah, girl, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my dogs in the bath because they all stink. And Omara is having a little allergic reaction right now. As you can see, she is dandruff and missing hair. We had to take her to the vet. I got her, well, they gave me her um, some anti, like some shampoo with antibiotics in it. She got antibiotics orally. And then she had two, and well, she had an ear, a girl, I cannot talk. She had an ear infection in both ears. They had to give her something for her ear infection. So she's good now, but from the skin on her back, it started smelling. So I'm gonna take her a antibiotic bath, and then I'm gonna give all my dogs a bath also because the rain and the mud and the pee and the poop that they're running through has collected on their paws, and I can smell it. And I do not like it when people come to my house and me thinking that it smells like dogs in here because my house does not smell like dogs and it's never, it never will. Like you will literally not know that I have dogs if you just, well, of course you can tell because you see the toys laying around, but my crib smells really good. I keep everything super clean. And with that being said, my dog's gotta be clean too. So girl, let's take them a bath. Hey pumpkins, how are y'all? It's your girl checking in with you. Ooh, that sun is way too bright, hold up. How are y'all doing today? It's your girl Melijah checking in with you. I'm about to run a, a quick errand and deposit some money in Cash App and send a Cash App, bro. Hold up, these kids are coming. All the kids just got out of school, so we having to take it easy so we don't hit nobody's kids, girl. And I'm about to go deposit this money so I can send a cash app and donate to this cause that my friend told me about. And you know, I'm all about supporting my friends, so I'm about to go deposit some money and send this cash app. And then we about to go back to the crib. Well, no, we need to get some wine first. Let's grab some wine because your girl had a, whoa. People are trying to die out here. Like it's not that big of a deal. And I'm actually gonna go to the Quick Trip to get some wine. They have this brand that I really like right now. It's called Vent. And it's so good, girl. I'm talking about you feel so sexy after drinking this wine. Excuse my phone. I'm like really popular today. Hold on, did I even bring? Okay. Let me meet my phone real quick. Okay, there's somebody coming. But I want this wine. And then we're gonna go home and wax. I do my own waxes upstairs in my beauty room. I made me a cute beauty room for me and my girlfriends. That way when they come over, I could do their nails, do their lashes, do their wax, you know, whatever. Just for me and my homegirls though, like it's not something that I wanna provide as a service. I might open up a spa one day. Like I've always, it's been one of my dreams also, you know. If you know, you know. I hate that my Instagram was taken cause like all the work that I've put in in my past, I don't have anything, like I can't show anything, like except for on my website. 
but like as far as like all the work that I put in with everything else I can't even show that stuff but if you know you know I've been working on getting me a spa or whatever but I need to wax and get this wine girl and drink some water because my mouth is so dry like my thoughts are all over the place right now like I'm not gonna lie life is good I'm so blessed and I'm honestly just realizing that and taking that in like that I worry too much and I have nothing to worry about like I'm always gonna be okay and I did my nails Y'all know I do my own nails. They came out so cute. Let me go in here and grab this wine and I'll be right back. Okay, we got it. I'm a crack. I'm a crack. I don't care what nobody says. I'm grown as hell. I love to drink. I'm a mini alcoholic sometimes. I don't get drunk though. I'm never like sitting here just getting drunk. Of course on the weekends we do, but girl, for the most part, I be chilling. Now, I know my limit now. I don't drink tequila no more. When I drink tequila, I will go bad on somebody for literally no reason at all. Let me make sure that's all I need right now. Oh, and deposit this money before I forget. So I don't gotta hear my friend's lip. I'm trying to keep my word nowadays. Cause lately I haven't been keeping my word. Like I say, I'm gonna do something and I don't do it. Just because I'm tired, like, you know, your girl has accomplished so much by herself, literally, like, anything I've, any, everything, any and everything I've accomplished it. So I'm just, I was at the point where I'm just tired, like, I just want to just live my life without any, like, ties or any promises, just, you know, live in. But I'm back on it, it's about to be a new year, this year was literally my time to just focus on my personal life my home life, my dogs, my lover, you know, that was just time to just be private. And so now, girl, I'm turned up, like, back on my shit. I'm super excited to be dropping my new ebook. You know, I got three books out and I'm about to combine those books and turn it into one book. I know y'all missed my Sugar Baby Coaching and I've decided that I'm not gonna just exit that out of my life. I'm gonna go ahead and come back into y'all's life I'm supposed to be going that way. What am I doing? And I hate when they try to speed walk in front of your car. Like, girl, I'm not trying to hit you, but it's like you want me to hit you. Yeah, I'm super excited to be combining my three sugar baby. Well, I have two sugar baby books out and one business book for business owners. But I wanted to combine my sugar baby books and make one sugar baby guide. I'm so excited to... I'm, I'm, I'm just redoing the graphics and I'm combining everything. I'm taking some, some stuff out and adding some stuff blah 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 we're gonna leave it at that proof is in the pudding with that one i'm super excited about that project and just getting back you know getting my store back open my store will be back open very soon definitely this year melijah's boutique and i might rename my store i don't know i don't really want to rebrand i think my name melijah is very unique so i might just leave it melijah's boutique who knows we'll see but i'm just letting y'all know my store will be back open and y'all keep telling me and asking me you know about my products and i honestly feel so so silly sometimes when i see y'all's comments i'm like why did i stop like why like what made me stop i had a whole warehouse and i shut everything down like i was just my mind was playing tricks on me like you know i i went just, just a lot of things we'll talk we'll, we'll have a a life a, i'll have a life update here real soon but girl i'm gonna deposit this money and i will check in with y'all when i get to the crib hey gang so i just got back to the crib and I want to open up this package that I got. So Derm Rays sent me this laser hair removal gun. And us as ladies, I feel like we need to tap into this. I have a laser hair removal gun. Girl, my gun is honestly old. <laughs> I've had this gun for about like, about five years now, I'm not gonna lie. And I've not even used this gun. I don't know why I didn't use this gun. I just didn't use it. I guess I was saving it for a rainy day, but I linked up with Derm Rays and they sent me their new generation hair removal gun. So I'm really excited to open this and see what it ha what it's working with because I do wax and I feel like waxing and laser hair removal obviously goes hand in hand. And girl, why not? Like, what are you? What are we missing out on? Let's see if I can open it with my nail. But I just, all right. It says high intensity smart skin protector, big spot size contact ice cooling okay wow see what we working with baby it's the lhr v6s 1064 when i say i'm ready to get my hair lasered off i'm ready to get my hair lasered off because 
we are in winter time. I feel like winter time is the time for you to start getting on your skincare for real. It's the time to start getting prepared for summer. Because as we all know, if you're into your skincare the way that you should be, you should know that good skin doesn't come overnight. And bikini area, armpit, all that, if you have damaged your skin or if you have dark spots, it's not gonna go away overnight. You have to work on it and you will gradually see a change. So I feel like right now during the winter time is where we should be working on our, our hair removal. And I used to only just wax, but I'm very interested in laser hair removal because I don't know if y'all have seen these bikini models. Girl, when I say they look the bomb, dot com, like there's not a mark on them and the bikini area looks like their face. And I'm not saying my bikini area doesn't look like my face, but my bikini area could use some improvement as far as I want it to, I don't even want you to be able to see the pores. And with not being able to see the pores is no hair is growing there. There's, there's no hair growing there if you can't see the pores. Now, if you can see the root of the hair growth, that means there's some hair growing there. So I want, I want to make my bikini area to where there is no hair growing down there. So, we're gonna get into this box. Hold on, well first let's look at the front too. You know, very cute. And the side has instructions also on it. Yeah, the side has instructions. Yeah, and this side just basically says potential risk, side effect, and skin reactions on one side. And the other side gives, I guess, what hair it works on. Laser hair removal is suitable for use on dark, light brown, or dark blonde hair. It may not be as effective on white, light blonde, or red hair. So I guess this only works on detectable hair because I could see why it probably wouldn't work on light blonde or gray, white gray because the hair is not really detectable. Like you can't see the hair. So it's mainly just for dark hair. And then it says on here that it's intended for hair removal, permanent hair reduction. Um, permanent hair reduction is defined as the long-term stable reduction in the number of hairs regrowing when measured at six, nine, and 12 months after the completion of a treatment regimen. So you should notice a drastic change within a period of time after using this tool. So this is not something that you're gonna use, ladies, once, and ladies and gentlemen, because you know, the LGBT, LGBT, LGBT community be up in here. But, so this is not something that you're gonna notice overnight, you have to work on it and please excuse me you know i didn't really do too much today i kind of just threw on my bling bling and got to working but inside of this package obviously comes the instruction manual so inside here comes the instruction manual and then we got the gun so all right so the box comes really cute packaged really nicely it's not all messy it comes with a carrying case, which I love because if you're like me, I'm a girly girl. So I like to take my equipment while I'm traveling. Yes. Anywho, yeah, I love to travel with my stuff. And then it comes with a razor. So I guess you don't have to necessarily wax. I would suggest waxing, I feel like, because that gets the hair out from the root to the tip but it has a razor so i guess you can also shave before you do your laser hair removal treatment and i'm going to i'm going to actually use this gun cuz i want to see if it actually works for real because if i can laser hair remove my own hair i'm going to do it what do you mean but one thing i have learned is that when you buy equipment like this you have to use it at the highest level so this is the gun so cute love the color it fits nice in my hand but I do have a lot of home equipment like this. Like I now I have laser hair removal, I have a body sculpting, and then I have a microdermabrasion machine. And I've learned that when you buy equipment like this, that you can get that you that you can get somewhere else for a higher voltage. When you get the at home equipment, you have to use it at the highest voltage. So when I use this, I'm gonna use it at the highest voltage that it has. But the gun is really cute. I like it. The color pink, the gray, you know what I mean? It's very sexy. I'm definitely gonna have this laying around 
well, not laying around. I guess I'll just put it up somewhere. I just like to show off my equipment. Like, my bathroom counter has all of my beauty equipment on it. So it has this, and then it also obviously has the plug-in. So it has two plugs in it? Oh, wait, no, 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 it's just one plug-in. So it's one plug-in, but obviously it needs a lot of power. So it has this big-ass thing attached to it. Excuse me. Let me unravel it if I can. There we go. Okay, okay. so we're just going to plug this in. Okay. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I would hope so because nobody's trying to do a lot of work for a laser hair removal gun. Like, I'm trying to put this together real quick. And there's no, there's only a sticker right here. It's a caution sticker. It says, This device emits invisible infrared laser radiation. Avoid eye exposure. Do not disassemble this device. Follow the user manual instructions. Classic IC laser product. So this is a IC laser product. And I'm surprised it didn't come with glasses. My last laser hair removal gun came with glasses on it, just in case, you know, the, the rays touched my eye. All right, so it plugs in like that real easy. I already got this end plug in, and I'm just gonna plug this over here. And it doesn't come with any glasses, which I'm honestly surprised because most laser hair removal guns come with glasses. So they should honestly include that instead of a, um, a razor. Because most people already have razors, but most people don't have laser hair removal x-ray glasses. So yeah, they should definitely put that in there next time instead of the razor. But I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up and let's see what it do. All right, so whenever you plug it in, the end is going to turn blue. That's how you know it's on, girl. And see how I turn this. So the power button's on the back. Oh, it says double press to enter ready mode. So one, two, one, two. I'm pressing it. It's not turning on though. Maybe I don't got it plugged in right. Okay, no, there's only one way to plug it. Okay. My gun don't work. Double press to enter ready mode. One, two, one, two, one, two. It's not working. What? Why? Bitch. Sorry. That's not how it works. Okay, so first of all, you don't double press it. You hold the button down. So I'm gonna hold the button down and it's gonna turn on at the top. And then all the lights turn on. So you don't double press it, you hold the button down. Girl, what I feel like I see, I feel like I see. Wait, let me take this off, because I don't want no stickers on my gun. I want my gun to look nice and slick and cute. Let me take that off. Yeah, be gone, like what the fuck? Oh, get off, okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna take a little sip of my wine too, because this might hurt, and the wine will numb the pain. So, the instruction manual says, okay, so it says, how does this device work? The device emits invisible infrared laser light at 164 nm wavelength that penetrates the dermis and is selectively absorbed by melanin in the hair follicles. This creates a localized thermal effect that disrupts hair growth in the hair follicles. The device is a portable laser hair removal device. It utilizes a 1064NM diode laser technology with a 10mm and 30mm treatment window and skin cooling system. So this that means that this has a cooling in it. So my other laser hair removal device does not have a cooling system in it. As you can see, this is a new generation. This is an old generation. I'm gonna plug this one in so y'all can see the difference in these guns. Okay, so I plugged my old laser hair removal gun. It's very basic, it's simple. I don't even know what brand this is from. Let me see if it has the brand name. Okay, so there has their brand, Derma Rays, on the gun. I don't know where I got this gun from, but it's a basic gun. You know, you hold down the, oh, oh shit. That's for me, I dropped it. I didn't realize I dropped it that hard. Like, it fell, but I didn't realize it was that bad. Oh shit. And that's the crazy thing, I never even used this gun. Okay, yeah, this gun is done with. That's wild that I dropped it that hard. I didn't even drop it that hard. I'm so mad at that. Cause honestly, I did like this gun cause you could feel it. Like, it was hot. 
Like when it zapped you, it was like, whoa. I am so glad they sent me this gun because what? It hit, like, I have hardwood floors, but I didn't know it was like, but then yeah, I shouldn't be able to hear anything shake. Oh, it still works. So this one, it makes that horrible noise. I probably should not be using it. But as you can see with that, you can feel that. Like I can feel it's very hot, but obviously I'm not gonna be using this gun cause that's very unsafe. Like that could probably explode. So we're just gonna, I'm really mad about that. Cause that was honestly at $80 at the time. So at the time when I bought this gun, this was about probably 80 to hundred dollars for this gun. So I'm kind of really upset cause it has 99,000 bolts, bolts, jolts, whatever still on it. Meaning like I could, zap my stuff myself 99,000 times still I didn't even use this gun why girl don't I don't know I have so much equipment around this house that I don't use and I'm kind of upset about that I'm really upset about that though because I honestly like would have liked to use this because I've never got to use it I was just now starting to include it into my skincare but that's totally fine I'll start using this one but let's see how many because that one comes with 99 thousand on that laser head i don't know if this one is unlimited it doesn't say how many joules of course on the back it also has the warnings of what kind of skin you do and don't want to use it on so definitely read the back if you have skin issues because you do not want to be using this and your skin is not meant for it. like if you have burn marks and stuff like that but hold on, let me see if it tells me how many because on there it tells you that one says 99,000 let me just show y'all one more time even though the noise is so loud let me just show y'all so when you turn this gun on it tells you oh man that's unfortunate that's really really unfortunate but you know what it's cool it's cool girly because we got a new gun we got the new generation gun and this one is not going to fall off my dresser like that one so I'm gonna hold it down and let's get busy. It's on. So it has different levels. As you click it, it has level one, level two, level three, and it has the cooling already on there. I don't believe you could take the cooling setting off. And personally, I believe that if you're going to do laser hair removal, if you get a laser hair removal gun, you should do your laser hair removal at the highest voltage. So if it goes to level three, four, five, six, seven, go to level three, four, five, six, seven. Go to the highest level. So I'm gonna use the highest level. I'm gonna start off with on my, I wanna also start doing my knuckles. I'm actually gonna do my knuckles first because, and let me see, I don't think there's any buttons. Like see this one has a turn on button right here and this is the zap button up here. So when you point you zap it from the top. I'm really mad that I dropped this and it's making that noise. But I'm probably still gonna use it because it has 99,000 zaps still. But this one does not have any other buttons. So I'm guessing the power button is the button that I'm gonna use. So let's just do a test sample right here. Okay, so that didn't work. Um, so how do you zap yourself? I guess I do need the instruction manual. Oh, this doesn't zap. I think you just go like this on your skin. Really? This can't be for real. Shit, this can't be for real. Okay, so, okay, so. Okay, so I learned something new about the gun because at first I was like, okay, how does this thing work? Because my other gun, it zaps, it goes, you know, as you saw, it zaps. And I like that because I could feel it and it's making me feel and know that something is happening. I was like, what is going on? Like, do you my I don't want to just slide this thing on my skin. I don't feel like anything is happening. So there's two levels to this. So if you double click the power button, it goes into a different mode where it like zaps. So you click it twice. Now it's in zap mode when it turns green. And if you click it twice again, that's the cooling mode. And it still cools, but I like this because I'm not gonna lie, it got really hot and I like that. I want to feel like something is actually happening. I don't want to be feeling I'm not doing anything with this gun. So we're gonna start with, wait, okay, yeah. So we're in zap mode. And it's very easy, it has a skin protect, um, a skin detecting, oh wait, what did I just do? Okay. So it has a skin detecting thing on it, girl. So it, it can detect when it's on your skin and when it's not, okay. So when it does that, that means you zapped it. So that is the zap noise instead, how that one is like straight, Mind you, this was in this new generation. 
and it is hot. It does get kind of hot, which I like that. That means that I'm doing something. Oh, that's really hot. Like, that's okay. I wonder how many zaps it has though. But I could turn it higher and I want that highest voltage. Like, I feel like if we're gonna do laser hair removal, do it at the highest voltage. If you're gonna use this machine. Like, it is hot, but we're not here to play. Ah! I want to do my knuckles too. Because I hate that my hair, my knuckles grow hair. Like, that is so strange. Let's see if it'll do my knuckles. There we go. I love it. Very cutesy. Get the knuckles. Get that knuckle hair. That knuckle hair. Okay. Cool. I actually really like it. I'm going to use this every day, twice a day, for like three to four weeks. See if I notice a change in my hair growth. And I'm definitely going to use it down here. Let me see. I'm going to do a little zap down here just to see what it feels like. So we're in zap mode. We're in the highest voltage. It is kind of hot. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of hurts. That's hot, but I like that. Ooh, wow, whoa. That's actually really hot. But I like that because it's like, I know it's doing something. Girl, I'm gonna use this every day. I think it's unlimited, like, volt, jolts of energy or whatever, like, um, rays. Cause you know, that one has only 99,000. I think this one is unlimited because it doesn't say. Oh my gosh. I just have to look into seeing if this thing can give you any type of cancer from the rays. That's all I would be concerned about. But other than that, oh, I'm using this on my coochie. Yeah. And it hurts, like, kind of. So I know it's doing something. I know that's right. Zap. Zap that hair. Zap that one. Get it right there. I know that's right. I ain't never, <laughs> never wrong. Okay yeah love it all right so that is the laser hair removal gun from derm rays let me turn it on you just hold it down a little bit i actually really like this gun compared to my old laser hair removal gun i'm really upset that i dropped this gun because i was going to use it but that's okay i have this one now you can see the difference in the old generation laser guns and the new generation laser guns so i'm gonna use this gun i'm not gonna tell y'all if it's, this is the best laser hair removal gun in the world or whatever because i don't know i haven't used it like that so i'm gonna use it for about four weeks and let y'all know if i see a difference and by summer we should definitely be able to tell if there's a difference or not but yeah check them out derm rays i'm gonna include a link in my bio as well as a discount code for my ladies if y'all want to invest in this product and if you know y'all can also go look at other people's results in other videos this is my first day using it and i'm sure this gun has been around for a while that way y'all can go look at results if y'all are interested in laser hair removal and see what their results are and if you like them then definitely click the link in my bio and get the discount code and go get you a gun girl but as far as i'm noticing this gun i don't think this part pops out i know this one i think it was i think this gun this head comes out because some of these guns you can replace the head and put a new head and get another um, so I, I think this was unlimited or maybe when it goes out you just go get a new gun I don't know because I know some of them only have so many jolts to it but yeah definitely go get this gun let them know that Malaysia sent you and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell that way you could be tuned in to when I drop a new video because you know baby I'm gonna keep y'all up on all the high-tech beauty equipment and my adventurous life so yeah I'll see y'all soon.